Sovereignty is the first of four rights that govern the society of hylogen, which is heaven. Um, sovereignty, hierarchy, emancipation, individuation. Much like Hegel's absolute knowing, we won't really know what sovereignty is until we're experiencing it on the other side of the wall, so to speak, but I can point to it from a couple of different perspectives that don't exactly add up into a whole, but they gesture towards it. First, I feel like I've talked about a lot in recent videos, but is uh, at the personal, psychological, or spiritual level, the path of um, transcending heteronomy and arriving at autonomy. So there is always space to more and more break free from external motives, whether they're ideological, interpersonal, familial, um, political, and, um, you know, the, the therapeutic process or the spiritual process involves sculpting your desires, processing your experiences in a way where your your sense of what matters transforms and you're able to make contact with a source of motivation that is perhaps divine or in any case it's uh you know it's 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 your true gift and it's worth maybe pointing out that for the most part in our society the religious version of that and the like psycho secular psychotherapeutic version of that are not usually seen as the same thing like you can become a monk and sort of that's the cessation of desire which is one path uh, or you can you know go into psychoanalysis and uh, kind of make make your will more independent in a bit of a messier way and that's seen as a totally different thing. Um, and people will try to synthesize them. The, you know, the really famous one is uh, Becker's Denial of Death. I'm not sure anyone ever really succeeds at that. Maybe they really are different. It's, it's sort of like Schopenhauer versus Nietzsche, you know, cessation of will versus um, sort of cultivation of will but maybe in heaven, we'll find a way to uh, see that they really are the same thing because in, in some ways they seem like they should be. But then there's the collective version of sovereignty. And there's really two aspects to this too. I think one is social and one is technological. So the technological version really has to do with uh, consumption of energy. Like, not not even just clean energy, but like, who, who knows what ways we'll ultimately discover for generating energy. Uh, it comes from the sun. Like, just going directly to the sun would be great. Um, rather than passing through the whole food chain but you know, we don't really understand what the constraints are, like whether we're really constrained by the physical universe as much as we think we are. So one can certainly imagine that there could be something like a logical source of energy that doesn't even require the sun. So anyway, I mean, this is like crazy speculation, but... Um, there's a vector in this direction of, again, autonomy rather than heteronomy. G generating energy intrinsically rather than needing to sort of like 
pillage it. And at the social level, it's really a matter of, um, you know, vanquishing the sort of zombified husks, cultural husks of earlier ideological regimes, which are no longer useful to the human spirit, but which still exist and are typically, you know, reappropriated by groups that want to like keep themselves in power kind of but really it's i think more confused than that it's really um uh by people who ha haven't had the chance to go through the first version of sovereignty that i described and so they don't want anybody else to get to have that experience either you know i, I think so so much of um what's the word bigotry i guess uh you know comes from a, a source that is unwell and it's really important to remember that i think so what i'm referring to here is really that you know for for every human at the personal level there's an opportunity and a duty to go in that direction. Um, but then at the collective level, um, you know, there, there are sort of mass, mass phenomena that, uh, that need to be healed. You know, I mean, I said vanquished before, but uh, according to the system of thought that I'm developing kind of, you know, based upon other systems that have influenced me very much, it, it you know, it, it requires a loving approach. Like it really, it really, uh, love, love is the answer, even when you're facing people who hate you. Um, so yeah, social, technological, uh, you know, in individuational kind of and um, and spiritual are directions to imagine sovereignty. But sovereignty is always the passage from heteronomy to autonomy. And as the world we know dissolves more and more, which seems to be happening faster and faster, uh, one can imagine that those four strands of sovereignty will more and more merge uh, in, into one into one thing, you know, as as humans sort of more and more merge.